Shazam! Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Under the Develop here, and today we're starting off with yet again another episode of Attack on Titan. This season is different with the titles. It's not even going small with it. I'm glad. Just one word. Season one was atrociously long titles. They had like two sentence long titles. It was dumb. You no, know, it was like Battle of Trost. Yeah, it was like Battle of Trost Part Three. Uh, fucking, sir, sir, fucking, someone does a thing. It was like two whole sentences. It was annoying. I hate that. Um, this episode is called Sin. Yeah, episode 43. You're awake. I'm glad. Just hang in there for a bit. We'll be okay. At least Historia's all right. Aaron, listen. My father has always been humanity's ally. His only goal is to keep the people within the walls safe. It's clear to me now that we misunderstood him. He didn't deny anything. It's true that he went after the scouts. And his people did kill Pastor what Nick. What is this place? But he did that because he had no choice. The fortress assaulted. Everything he's done, he did for the sake of humanity. Thank you, Historia. Please let me explain the rest. It's coming back to me. Yeah. The last thing I remember is the two of them. Um, Father, could you explain to Aaron? Of course. I intend to, but before that, there's something I'd like us to try. This could make him remember without us saying a word. We have like powers to maybe remember shit. What is this? Who are they? These aren't things I've seen. Memories are these. The key. No. Wait, is this his father's memories? Because from that point of view, it, that's all I want to make sense for it to be. Did he kill his own father? I mean, his father's a. Wait, if he killed his dad, no. I saw him eat somebody. Yeah. Probably. So is the guy we saw in the episode one not actually his dad? Well. Do you remember? Have you learned of your father's sin? That's amazing, Historia. Just look how well you can read now. Thank you, but I only learned how because you were here to teach me. Ah, that runny nose of yours needs some tending to. I guess the next thing I should teach you is how to act more ladylike. Blow into this. Ooh. Now that's what I call a job Wasn't well done. Wasn't her mother like a huge bitch? Yes. But I'm pretty sure hey. she had different colored hair. What's it mean to I'm act pretty sure this isn't her. Oh, okay. So do your best to make things better. Treat people with love and they'll love you in return. Mm, well, that's how you act, so I want to be just like you. Huh? Do you think that if I try real hard, I can grow up to be like you? <sighs> no need! Uh, You're already perfect! Uh, no need to change a thing! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Historia, but I have to go now. That means you need to forget all about me again. Until next time. Oh. So these people have, like, fucking memory eraser and... Huh. Interesting. Hmm. I wonder who that girl is. I, I wouldn't have had anyone. I need to thank He's her. He's gonna say Aaron's dad ate, him or, ate her or some shit. Frida is no longer of this world. She's in the other world. At one time, I had five children. But five years ago, my wife and our children were murdered by a man named Grisha Yeager. Your sister was killed by Aaron's father. What? <laughs> Eeps. 
Aaron's dead. What the fuck? <laughs> Grisha had the ability to transform into a titan. I still don't know where he obtained it. But his goal was to steal something from the Rice family. What Grisha sought to obtain was power. <gasps> the power of the Rice family, which resided within Frida. Frida's Titan was by far superior to all the others. In theory, she had unsurpassable power. However, at her young age, she lacked the experience to wield it properly. And because she couldn't unleash her true potential, Grisha ate her, and in doing so, stole her power. But that wasn't enough. He then turned his gaze to the children. He wanted to eradicate the Rice family. Is he, he fucking promising at them? And Axel, who were 14 and 12. He trampled my wife as she held our 10-year-old Florian. Then he squeezed the life from my eldest son, Oakland. Through some curse miracle, I alone managed to escape. It's not fair. She didn't deserve that. Why would he do such a terrible thing? was an errand to work. Yeah. <laughs> Don't look at him like that. He didn't do it. Hey, hey, hey. What's the holdup? Whatever you're talking about, we don't have time for it. You'll be digesting your meals from the bottom up. As always, you'll wear the finest of clothes, but only from your feet to your knees. And so you don't get lonely, I'll take you out once a week to be paraded to the public. What the fuck? It's so beautiful. This may well be the finest work of art man has ever conceived. All those decades of planning it have finally paid off. Just wait. Art must be completed by its audience. They're feeding him through his ass. I don't know what the hell's going on. Ah, oh, Cammy. I take it you were just out killing more of the military police? Yeah. If you're talking about those goons that were snooping around here. They're in the ground helping the trees grow now. <coughs> Speaking of trees and such, there's a branch of the family that moved south to Shiganshina. I guess they should have changed the name when they left because they're still getting screwed with. So of course they're still poor as dirt. What in the hell happened to us? I thought that the Ackerman clan used to be the king's personal bodyguards. Now the whole damn family's on the verge of extinction. So why don't you tell me what you did to piss off the king? Come on, won't you tell your sweet grandson one last story? <laughs> what sweet grandson are you talking about? Surely not the infamous Kenny the Ripper who's been terrorizing the capital. Ain't that the monarchy hates us or has any cause to? They're just afraid of us is all. Reason being, we Ackermans are one of a few families the king can't quite control. What do you mean by that? Can't tell you the whole story because I don't know it. But it's true that our family was once honored and trusted by the king. More than that, from what I was told, we Ackermans were once the king's sword. For generations, each king has passed the power of the Titans to his successor. Huh? Power of the Titans? What's that? I don't know how it works or what all else there is to it, but this power allows the king to wipe out human memory, to erase the past. Okay. Only a few noble bloodlines are immune. Among them, there were two groups that decided to turn their back on the king. One of these groups was the Eastern Clan, and the other was our own Ackerman Clan. Hence all the persecution. And nothing can end it. <coughs> Ain't the heartwarming story you want to hear on your deathbed, but I found my little sister. kuhel has been working at a brothel in the underground. She got knocked up by a customer. I couldn't convince her to get rid of the thing. <coughs> oh, hell. Who'd want to be born into this piece of shit world anyway? 
There isn't a dream you could have worth suffering through it. So is that why? So is that why Levi was born? Is Levi is like Rice nephew or something? Should be inside. I don't know. Hopefully the layout's close to what I predicted. These presents better pay off, considering the time we spent prepping them. We count at least seven enemies, and you can bet Captain Levi's among them. As you all know, last time we caught Levi by surprise, and then he killed twelve of our comrades. Yeah, that was a cool scene. The government's yep. been overthrown, which means we are the fugitives now. So I wouldn't count on getting any backup. We're in some deep shit. In this tiny, screwed-up world, dying is preferable to what we would get if we decided to surrender. But here's the thing. That's what life in the walls has always been. Nothing's changed. We've got a foe we can't beat, so we stand by and wait for them to break through our walls and kill us. We fought to be military police, and then interior police, and now we're Kenny's elites. We did this to find purpose in our meaningless lives, in this meaningless world. I see no cause to stop believing now. If Kenny and his dream can't turn this game around, he'll flip the board. Okay, we should be ready to go now. All right then. Is everyone here ready? Because you're all about to dirty your hands. I guess that's a yes. Yeah, you have a big ass fight happening next episode. Oh. Mm hmm. Cool. Yeah, this is like a setup episode. We have, we know new things uh, that certain certain groups, I guess it's like some five family shit. <laughs> and the group that Story is part of can actually fuck with memories. Yeah, by the touch. Rice family just the like Rice family. memories and so shit. So that's a thing. And apparently, yeah. uh, what's his face, uh, father? Yeah, the, the Ackerman's family. I Oh, I'm sorry, you're talking about uh, fucking Aaron. Aaron's dad. Well, they guess, guess that was the dick. Yeah. Killed, you know, you know what I mean? Her mom. <laughs> well, her not for her, her half-sister. Yeah, like he murdered... Uh, well, yeah, he murdered all of her half-siblings. Yeah, he murdered yeah. family. He straight up chronos them. <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> I did not think... I did not think Aaron's dad was that much of a dick. Yeah, dude. Wow, fuck him. Yeah. Oh, but to the next episode... Yeah. See you next time, folks. Next like time. and subscribe. Peace.